Okay, so what do you do when you see a flashing file on your Mac? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to boot off of a thumb drive with recovery media on it, or you're going to want to go on ahead and hit, you're going to want to shut it off. Here, let me zoom you out a little bit. You're going to want to shut it off. And then you're going to go on ahead and start it up with command R. And now this is for an Intel. Uh, Apple Silicon, you'd um, do it differently. So right now it's trying to take me to internet recovery, which means that there is no uh, recovery partition on this, or if there is, it's tr struggling to reach it. Right now it's gonna try to do internet recovery, which is fine. It would have you put in a Wi-Fi password and stuff if you don't already have that put into it. Um, but I have a Catalina boot disk here. I have different videos on showing you how to do that. So I'm gonna go on ahead and Shut this off, and how to make one of the boot drives, that is. Shut it off, hit the power button, hold down option in this case, uh, because the recovery didn't work. Anyways, now we're going to go on ahead and hit, hit install. Now, if you had an EFI password or anything on it, you'd have to put it in, obviously, but I'll go on ahead and let this load. Okay, now that we're loaded in, we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna go to um, Disk Utility, and we're gonna go on ahead and hit Continue. And then we're gonna go on over here to View, Whoop. View, Show All Devices, and this will show you, so right here it says Internal. You're gonna go down here to your hard drive. If your hard drive failed or anything like that, I wouldn't show it right here. If you're wanting to try to recover your files, I wish you luck. Um, more than likely, you're gonna have to erase it or your hard drives went out, I don't know. Um, it could be that you had a faulty, um, a faulty reinstall if you tried to reinstall it. But anyways, so you'll come here. As you see, mine is empty. Um, I did that on purpose so that I could make this video, but if you go on up here, you can go to first aid, run first aid on it. Make sure that it says that it's good. If it says that it's good, then, you know, it's it's done everything it can to fix it. And then you go on ahead and you can hit erase and you can erase it. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I already did that. But then you're gonna go to install Mac OS, hit continue. And you're just gonna follow the prompts on the screen you're going to hit agree, agree, and then you're going to click on your hard drive and you're going to hit install. And then once you do that, it'll just go on ahead and install. It'll take an hour or two. Make sure to plug your laptop in and uh, have it on the charger while it's doing that. And then you should be good to go from there. So there you go. Thanks, guys.